Hey guys, Daniel here with DarkGadgets.com. Today we're we'll taking a look at iOS 7. And that's just, just going to be a quick look. Here we're on the lock screen, and you can see that it's been completely changed. Everything's very minimal. Um, the time has a different font, everything. Uh, they got rid of the actual slide arrow. Uh, you just actually slide the whole thing to unlock. Um, and then you also have two arrows at the top and the bottom, those of which the bottom launches Control Center. And here you have uh, controls for your music, brightness, uh, sleep mode, uh, airplane mode, all those different important things. You also have flashlight and calculator, but none of this is customizable yet. Hopefully in the future it will be uh, so you can set your own toggles. Uh, you can also drag down from the top to see notification center and you get all this new stuff. You get stocks and everything right on there. So you, it's actually, you know, very useful even when you don't have notifications. Now you also have the camera button in the um, bottom right hand corner which you can just tap um, or drag actually and uh, it'll launch camera. Now that we're here we can check out uh, the different photo filters and stuff. Um, here you just swipe to switch between mode as this nice little transition on screen. Um, now you can also set live filters or edit pictures and add a filter. Now the filters aren't like Instagram, these are just some weird type filters that um, I don't really like. There's some just weird effects. Uh, so it's just for a different type of editing. Um, completely different to those of Instagram. You can also swipe to the right again for a panoramic picture. Nothing there has changed. But if you go into video, you can actually zoom in while recording a video. So here I'm recording a video and I can zoom in. So yeah, it's amazing, I know. Um, but you know, they didn't talk about that because nearly every smartphone has that. Whoa, whoa. All right, so we're back on the home screen. Um, and uh, so let's check out, uh, what can we check out? Let's check out the app store to show you. That. There's some things I can't go into because there's important information in there. Um, now the app store, you can see it's been completely, you know, it's it's now completely clean. It's just pure white. Uh, it's very simple to drag through things. They brought back the top charts going scrolling down instead of to the right, which is how it was a while back. Um, much better. Uh, and you can also see things that are popular near you. And we can go back to the home screen. The iTunes store, of course, has also changed. Now, one reoccurring theme that you see throughout the device is this blue, uh, mainly blue with black, blue with white, um, which is really nice. And don't mind that over there, the, the back over here. Don't mind that. That's uh, there for the special effects. And yeah, it looks very nice. So, you know, everything's themed. And going back here, uh, we can check out socks. It has this new red and black kind of finish. You can turn it to the side. And you can still do what you used to do before. Um, but it all looks so much cooler now. It just looks cool. Weather is pretty awesome too. Uh, here we have Boston, New York, LA, Tino, San Antonio, Austin. Wow, it's really warm here. Um, and we can just pinch with two fingers, drag out, and they're gonna be like kind of like cards. And then you can just tap into any that you want. And they're all themed, they have live backgrounds. Um, when it's raining, it's raining, etc. It looks really cool. Um, we can drag, you know, very simple, very nice. Uh, Game Center, um, that one, this one really has changed a lot. Um, it's very playful, uh, very nice looking, very colorful. Let's go to challenges, let's see what we have here. Um, there aren't any new features though, it's just, you know, it looks cooler, but hopefully they'll add new features, maybe messaging and stuff in the future. Okay, that was perfect. Um, now we can double tap right here, and then we're gonna get, um, I almost said multi-flow, um, just, you know, multitasking. Uh, and you can just swipe up to delete an app and close it. All right, and you cannot close a bunch out at the same time, which is still a downer, you still have to go uh, well, right now you have to go and uh, delete each one individually. 
Uh, now another cool thing that has changed is Siri. See, that looks much cooler right there when I'm talking, doesn't it? I mean, it just looks very futuristic. And you can see that everything has a sweet overlay. You know, everything's very transparent. You still have the background. If you were doing this in Safari, you would see Safari in the background. It's very neat. Wow. I think that was pretty close. <laughs> it's pretty close. So we can say things like, okay, whoops, and tap and hold, tap and hold, search pictures of cats. Now we get pictures of cats. Now, right now it's limited. You can't scroll through more pictures. This is from Bing, and you can, you can tap on the picture, but that's not. That doesn't seem to be working right now, obviously, because it's a beta. So there's a lot of things that are still, you know, being worked out. Um, but you can do things like that, obviously. How much does an elephant weigh? All right. That's perfect. How much does an elephant weigh? There we go. Um, so you get this really nice... Um, you know, card, kind of like Google Now. Uh, Google Now, I still prefer. I feel like it's more immediate, but Siri is, you know, it's getting there. Oh, but it wasn't speaking. Oh, we should make it try to go speak. So let's go to settings. All right, and you can see that settings change a lot. Everything's totally different. You can go to privacy, iCloud, everything, all the icons and everything. Right, so let's go to general. Let's go to Siri. And voice feedback, let's do always right now. So you can hear her. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? It depends on whether you are talking about African or European wood. See, so Siri's voice is somewhat better. Um, but yeah, you can, you know, change all the settings. The toggles are somewhat 3D-ish looking, um, which is pretty neat. Um, and yeah, it's those little tweaks like that that are the coolest, I think. Those things that you can barely notice, but they just add to the user experience. Now, what also changed, you know, uh, compass, calculator. The calculator doesn't look the same. Kind of the same colors, though. Um, compass, it's going to make me recalibrate. Yeah, you have to fill in the circle to calibrate the compass. So, okay, over here. Okay, see, I've had problems with calibrating this thing. All right, there we go. Come on. All right. So you can see the compass, it's really accurate, and it just looks awesome. I think they just went for making awesome looking apps. Um, context as well. Uh, reminders, let me see if there's anything important in there. Um, but you can see reminders, very simple. It's very uh, neat looking. We can drag down right here and tap plus sign to add a new one. So. You can just add it to iCloud and you can add a new list, blah, blah, blah. And the font, everything just looks really nice. You can see that white and blue theme um, is happening It's happening throughout the whole device. And last but not least, just to finish this off, let's go into Mail and Safari. So Mail we have here and we can tap on an individual email. Um, so here we have uh, a test email that I have. And you know, it's super clean. You can reply, delete archive, flag, we can go back to inbox, and it just looks really nice. You drag uh, this way, and that appears right there, but it's kind of hard to drag and tap and drag and tap. It's not that responsive yet, uh, most likely because we're still in the beta. Uh, but yeah, let's go into Safari. And wow, okay, so there's my video, the how to install iOS 7 beta. So we can tap up here, and we, we're going to get some of our bookmarks so let's go to dargadgets.com to test this out and as far as speed improvements go there aren't any that I've noticed but it's just super clean looking um, you can tap right there and it's gonna bring us up our reading list share links and bookmarks um, we can tap in the bottom right hand corner and it gives us our tabs that are open and then we can turn all tabs to private which is, you know very simple and then we can add 
new tabs, of course. And now we, it's not limited to nine or eight tabs anymore, which is nice because that was always a pain in the butt. But um, that is not it. Let's go into music. Lastly, gosh. Um, iRadio. So yeah, it's right there as soon as you open music, which is pretty nice. So you can just tap on a thing or create a new station with um, a song. I couldn't get an album to work. Um, but yeah, here, and it just works. All right, and it's really nice looking. Uh, you can start the song, so you you know preferred. Then you can buy the song in the top right hand corner. Let's go back, and then oh, music. So if I go to my music here, and don't judge my style music, okay? I have this music since I was like, you know, there's a bunch of music here I don't use. Um, so you, you, this is kind of like the new cover flow. They got rid of cover flow and they added this, which is much better. So we can just tap on a song, it comes close. Uh, then we can close it by uh, just tapping again. Uh, but we can just play the song. And right here, it's playing off iCloud. I can just go ahead and download it. But yeah, it's uh, it's awesome. All right, guys. So that pretty much sums up iOS 7. Um, Obviously, they're going to update a lot of things by the time this is out to consumers. And if anything else that's interesting happens to pop up on iOS 7, then I will make sure to uh, cover it and show you guys. So yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching these videos. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.